when I landed on the soil, I looked on the ground and I says, this is free ground. Then I looked to the heavens and I says, them is free and beautiful heavens. Then I looked within my heart and I says to myself, I wonder why I was never free before. In May 1862, President Abraham Lincoln signed a congressional act authorizing, for the first time, the distribution of the public domain to any person willing to improve the land. The Homestead Act proved to be a turning point in the personal, economic, and social freedoms of African Americans who chose to go west. There ought to be free land for free men. Senator Galusha Grow. By 1840, the United States had purchased, traded, or conquered millions of acres west of the Mississippi River. Northern senators desired to give away this public domain to prospective settlers. Southerners feared this western settlement, believing slavery would be banned. In Congress, in that you have this northern Congress that wants to have a Homestead Act, give the land away 160 acres at a time to uh, individuals. And then you have the Southern uh, Congress that is trying to fight a Homestead Act because small family farms expanding westward was seen as a threat to the plantation agricultural system they had in place. With the beginning of the Civil War, Southern Senators vacated their offices. The Northern Senators chose to act. The Homestead Act of 1862 created a law that not only distributed Western territory, but also would turn African Americans into landowners. The act stated that any person who declared their intention of citizenship and was at least 21 could claim 160 acres, provided they improved the land. With the passage of the 14th Amendment, the path was cleared for African Americans to join those claiming land in the West. The thing I've always found interesting and that I think is actually miraculous is not what the Homestead Act said, but what it didn't say. And what it didn't say was that to be able to get 160 acres, that you had to be a male, that you had to be white. A turning point had begun. Thousands of African Americans went from being owned to being able to own land. There was nothing but land, not a country at all, but the material out of which countries are made. Willa Cather. By 1875, thousands of people flocked to claim a homestead. The open language of the act allowed many to try and prove up, or patent, their own piece of America. Civil War veterans, railroad employees, immigrants, single women, and African Americans sought to claim their own estates. It was not easy. Conditions were difficult. There was often little water, lumber, or neighbors. Most homesteaders did not know how to work the land properly. Nearly half failed to prove up on their 160 acres. The challenges African Americans faced of improving the land were complicated by the obstacles that they faced because of their race. Some left their homesteads because of a lack of money, community, potential spouses, and the rise of urbanization. And these people were just like every other uh, uh, human being that came out here with the hope of uh, building a, a more substantial future for themselves and their families. While success rates were low, that did not prevent the turning point. African Americans went west, homesteaded, and gained personal, economic, and social freedoms. The turning point had taken place. Those that succeeded continued down the path of increased freedoms. Farming one's own land on one's own account meant being one's master. No painter. After the Civil War ended, Reconstruction began. African Americans felt a measure of safety and security in the South. Thousands of Union soldiers guarded them and restrained the malice of white Southerners. After the Compromise of 1877, troops were removed and federal intervention stopped in the South. Laws called Black Codes were passed prohibiting blacks from exercising their personal, economic, and social freedoms. As conditions in the South rapidly deteriorated, 
Many African Americans contemplated moving west to escape the persecution, claim some of the government's land, and improve their circumstances. One song written by an African American moving west said, The West is where the shotgun rules no more. Yeah, the shotgun rules no more. A former slave named Benjamin Singleton encouraged this movement. He saw uh, the freedmen population being uh, strangled uh, by these black codes in the South. And he said, enough is enough. We don't have to endure this. We can escape this. We can leave this. And uh, we can go west, get land from the Homestead Act. Singleton organized black settlers to move west. This campaign led to the Exoduster Movement. This exodus included thousands of African Americans looking for the freedom that would come with land ownership. An estimated six to 10,000 African Americans took part in this escape from the inhumane restrictions on work, travel, and marriage. Some 20 to 30,000 African Americans homesteaded in the 19th century. About two to 300,000 African Americans homesteaded over the course of the act. They were an integral part of the westward expansion that gave a piece of land to two million homesteaders who together settled over 270 million acres of land and turned the key to new freedoms. After crossing the Mississippi River, African Americans settled the West, especially Kansas and Nebraska. Robert Anderson was one of these homesteaders. An escaped slave who had served in the Army, he turned West and settled in Nebraska. He had always dreamed of owning land. The Homestead Act made that possible. Here I was, with 640 acres, and I had to do so much and improve so much before I could call it mine. His fellow homesteaders' attitudes were slowly changing. They watched him labor as they did and endure the same hardships. At his funeral, his neighbor said, If I ever met a gentleman, it was Robert Anderson. As former slaves left the South, African American towns sprang up in the West, including Nicodemus, Kansas, which still exists today. Another was formed near Goose Lake, Nebraska. From this settlement comes the story of escaped slaves Hector and Julia Dixon, who turned west to claim land in Nebraska. A descendant of Dixon recalls, They enjoyed farming because it made them their own bosses and the land was theirs. Owning land gave them respectability and a sense of equality. As white homesteaders looked at the black homesteaders, they saw them enduring the same obstacles and toiling as hard as they did. While there were decades of change yet to come, the Homestead Act challenged many to think differently about their views of African Americans. It enabled them to do that, to achieve a lifelong dream to own their own land and be their own bosses and be masters of their own destiny. Michelle Huff The Homestead Act of 1862 opened the door for land ownership for everyone. African Americans, who had once been property, could now own property and reap the benefits. This was a significant turning point in the personal, economic, and social freedoms of African Americans. Before, no matter where African Americans lived, whites almost always looked at them as inferior. The Homestead Act began to change that view. The Homestead Act planted the seed of equality in the West. The Homestead Act was a turning point in uh, the United States and world history, quite frankly, in that it was almost uh, to some degree the realization of uh, the Declaration of Independence uh, of the Constitution's dreams that people are equal, um, people do deserve an opportunity. There were many challenges on the road ahead for African Americans in their search for civil rights. The Homestead Act was a turning point in history because it was a step towards more personal, economic, and social freedoms the freedom to be landowners. I was once in bondage, a slave in the old days preceding the Civil War, owned but owning nothing. But now I am a free man, a citizen of the United States of America, a property owner, and the boss of my own ranch. Robert Anderson. Come from every nation, come from every way. Our lands, they are broad enough, don't be alarmed. Sam is rich enough to give us all a farm.